Qualitative data is often displayed within a two-way table, and you may want to assess whether the factors in the rows and columns are independent or whether they are associated. Let's look at how to do this with a chi-square test. To use a chi-square test, we make the following assumptions. Measurements are qualitative or categorical. The sample size is larger than 20. The study groups are independent. First, we'll load some example data. Select File, Open Example Data Sets. Type New. At the bottom, double-click the file New Zealand Income Survey to open the spreadsheet. Our data set is a table containing the results from a survey of income. For our test, we're going to look at the factors gender and qualification. The chi-square test assesses the independence of these two classifying factors. The null hypothesis is where two classifying factors are independent. The alternative hypothesis is where the two classifying factors are dependent. From the menu, select Stats, Statistical Tests, Contingency Tables Chi-Square. Click Create Table. Ensure Forming a Summary Table Using Grouping Factors is selected. Then click OK. We're going to move our two classifying factors, Gender and Qualification, into the Groups field. You can do this by double-clicking a factor. You can also select a factor, then click the arrow to move it across. But there's a quicker method to use when you want to select and move several items. On your keyboard, hold the control key, then click each item you want to move. Now click the arrow to move them all across in one action. By default, Counts is selected, so leave this unchanged. Save the table name as Table, then click OK. The Pearson method is already selected, so leave all other settings at their defaults and click Run. In the output, we can see the value of the Pearson chi-square is 3.28 with degrees of freedom equal to 3. The probability value is 0.351, which is greater than the significance level 0.05, corresponding to a 95% confidence level. So, we do not reject the null hypothesis. The test statistic here indicates that the two classifying factors, gender and qualification, are independent and that there is no evidence that they are associated.